Ah, hello there, folks. It is I, Daffy Duck. Tonight, I'm going to present to you another comparison between a classic Golden Book video and the original book that the video is adapted from. The Golden Book video in question is Five Sesame Street Stories, which was adapted in the Golden Book Video Killer's Special Sesame Street Edition. The story in question? Big Bird Brings Spring to Sesame Street, which some of you might be more familiar with the YouTube poop. Big Bird Brings Death to Sesame Street, which I did not get involved with at all. But moving along, here are some of the differences. As you know, this cover illustration was used a couple of times in the main story, like this. I feel better already. I don't have to wait for spring at all. Yep, that's where they come from. And now, as we open the book. Yep, you recognize this illustration? If you reverse it, you get Big Bird from deep shots. I need the days with a warm and gentle sun. This long, dark winter is just no fun. Suddenly, Big Bird had a wonderful... Oh dear, only three flowers left. But I guess Grover and Dolores and the Count are happier than... However, we will see the true origin of that Big Bird picture a little later in the story. Now let's turn the page. Alright, there's the origin page, of course. Yes, they did alter the shot a bit, and this line was setting it out. Big Bird sighed it had been a long winter. And now, if we turn the page, we'll recognize this shot here, although we know that the sled and the kids on the skates are animated. And if you look at the text here, you'll see Big Bird got the wonderful idea while walking through the park. Instead of talking to Oscar about it, he doesn't even have these fantasies. Maybe I should buy some sunglasses to remind me of a sunny day. No. Wait a minute. A great big bright kite might do it. I guess not. Like that. And turning the page here, that's the origin of the title page I discussed earlier. And look what they edited out. Mr. Macintosh. Who is Mr. Macintosh, you ask? He only appeared on the show from 1971 to 1992, and was played by Chet O'Brien. He was the fruit peddler, as you could probably tell by this picture. And here is the shot of Big Bird walking, which you'll recognize from... Goodbye, Oscar! Big Bird walked back towards Sesame Street with his beautiful flowers. Big Bird walked down Sesame Street carrying his five flowers. There's my cute, furry, adorable friend, Grover. Oh, boy. Yep, all they did was add the up and down motions. And there's also a shot that was added just for the video. The doorbell theme. It made sense to have it not in the video. It made sense to not have it in the book version, because the book mentions the Count was living in a castle like he does in the real show. And look, the Count even has dialogue. He doesn't go ah ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha or have the thunder and lightning bow, but you do see the bats flying around, but they leave the counting to the Count. And turning the page here, there's only one bat there, instead of there being a lot of them. And of course, the Count counts the petals too. And as you may notice in the next illustration, it's Maria. Cause remember what they called her in the video? Why there's Dolores shoveling snow. Hi Dolores! Hi Big Bird! Whoops! <laughs> that falling down animation is always funny. Other than that, most of this is still the thing, except changing Maria's name to Dolores. I think that her being Maria makes a lot more sense. But we know that Sonia Manzano, the actress who plays Maria still to this day, was unavailable for the video. And turning the page here, there's not much for the Grover scene. However, as you may know, he does mention that he can't ride the scooter, 
but the thought bubble is just added for the video, like this. Also, they altered the Big Bird illustration here when he gives the flower to Grover, using this picture. Yep, the shot of him with the count. They modified it, and like this. Say, maybe this blue pansy will make you feel better, Grover. Oh, this little blue pansy will be so cute on Grover's little furry body. I will tuck it in my cap. And as you may have noticed already, there was a big difference here with the plot. The iris breaks right after giving the pansy to Grover. And this is Big Bird's only encounter with Oscar the Grouch. As you may recall, they altered this picture when they showed Big Bird talking to Oscar earlier on in the video. Like this. I'm going to go get some flowers at Macintosh's store right now. I'll buy some flowers to put in my nest. Yeah, you could get some cactus flowers or a Venus flytrap. <laughs> and now we turn the page here. We get the shot of Oscar peeking out of his can. But earlier on in the video, they replaced that shot of him holding the iris with this. <laughs> I love this crummy weather. Gotta chill this hot chocolate down so it tastes good and yucky. Oh, and here's Big Bird's encounter with Ernie. Although they did alter that shot of him holding the two flowers to include the iris. And look at this here. Big Bird, Ernie comments on Big Bird looking cold instead of the other way around. Because here, Ernie actually talks, instead of like this. Ernie told Big Bird that he was going to visit Betty Lou, because she was sick in bed. Ah. Oh. Or in the video YouTube poop version, Ernie said this. Where are you going? I'm going over to visit Betty Lou, because she has a contagious fatal illness with diarrhea forever. Obviously, Jim Henson must have been too busy to be involved with the project. And on the next page, you can see he's like, oh yes, thank you, Big Bird. They also edited out the flu reference in the video. This here was not changed that much, although here it says that Bert was wailing the line as if it were really miserable. And turning the page here. Oh, before we do, they added a little bit of dialogue and an altered illustration at this part. My beak is freezing. Maybe I'll buy some hot cider to warm up. Or maybe I could wrap a new muffler around my cold beak. Yep, that's what they did. And on the next page here, not much was changed, though. However, this shot of Big Bird walking empty-handed? We see it, though, earlier on in the video a couple of times. <sighs> I wish spring would come. Hi, Oscar. Hey, what's the matter, Big Bird? It's a great storm. And turning the page here, so when he got to the lamppost part, at the end of the credits, they altered it, so it goes like this. It's spring, spring, spring. And as if that weren't enough, if we turn the page again, we'll see this. An illustration that was not featured in the video. Big Bird sleeping peacefully as they add flowers near his nest. That's a sweet ending. And of course, there was one bit of Big Bird that was not in the book version. Big Bird walked through the park feeling sorry for himself. Big Bird carried his three flowers down the street until he saw another friend. Yep, the walking animation. So overall, Make sure you stay tuned to this account when we will compare another Golden Book video with the original. And here's a hint. It's gonna be something kind of eerie.